Hello friends. Things are looking a little bit different. All right. Um, I'm just going to start off by saying I really wanted to change the tablescape. Um, but this is not, you know, I'm just playing around with some ideas right now. What I'm, th what I'm thinking about doing is transferring since the bar was already ready for fall. I'm thinking about transferring um, the majority of the stuff that was on the bar over to the dining room table. So anyways, I'm just playing around right now. I bet I am glad that Halloween is packed away. And I am, yesterday, my husband and I went into my garage and two people went in and two people came out, which is always a good thing because that doesn't always happen <laughs> when we do our um, going through all of Crystal's holiday decor because it took us all day long, which is why... I think I put together my table like about 8 p.m. because I wanted to do, because I knew I was going to do a haul, of course, today. And I wanted you guys to look at something different. And I was so sick of looking at that Halloween stuff. But, um, again, you know, I am enjoying, I, oh, okay, I did get this at, I think, Family Dollar or Dollar, Dollar General. Is this Family Dollar? I don't know. One of those. And it does complement. And then, of course, the, um... Tablecloth is from Hobby Lobby, and then the runner, I think, is from Home Goods. And between the tablecloth and the runner, it was like $30. So, yeah, that was not my best of purchases. But, again, I was dateless and desperate, and I waited to the last minute, so that's on me. All right, and I'm kind of sneaking in a little bit of Christmas. Those little lanterns are um, from Christmas, are, are for Christmas, but yeah, it's getting there. But there'll be a lot more. This is, you know, too minimal for me. <laughs> Plus, I have so much stuff that I have to transfer it over here in order to get. Ta-da! Christmas is sneaking in. And, yeah. Christmas, hot cocoa, all that stuff is Christmas. So, needless to say, um, it's looking better. And I got to do something with those dumb pumpkins. I don't know. My my husband and I had the same sentiments about the pumpkins. It's, it brings back bad memories. So we're just kind of like, ugh. I don't know. I might have my husband put them outside. But outside is starting to look a little bit like Christmas. Our Christmas um, lamp post is set up already, and my reindeer's out there. So, yeah. All right. Let's get into the haul. And you guys, it's a big one. Oh my gosh. I say I'm not going to do this every week, but yet here we are. All right. Merry and Bright. This is an extra small red and black buffalo check. And this is Wally Mart 1998 and I fell in love with it and I saw it a second time and I was like you know what I'm gonna grab the extra small um, while I can and I'm gonna rock it I'm thinking it's only gonna be like 68 degrees today on Monday in Orange County and then on Thursday and Friday it's gonna be 90 91 yeah and I was thinking of laying out on Thursday and Friday like trying to get my tan on for the wedding but I know it'll happen to me I'll get all red, and then I'll look like a lobster for the wedding, so I might nix that idea. But anyways, this is what I picked up at Walmart, and since it's going to be cold today, I don't know. I'm I'm definitely wearing some type of Christmas, either a Christmas sweatshirt or this today. So, yeah. Either way, I'll take a picture, and I will post it on Instagram, and you guys can see, because of course I'm going to bust out my earrings and all that fun stuff. And also from Wally Mart, if you haven't seen the Walmart walkthrough, these are $5 pillows. Yes, they're outside, but I don't care. I'm using them for inside. Um, I totally think they're adorable. Five bucks. I was all about it. And if they get stained or something, you know, I can just throw them out at the end of the season. I like the back. I think the back is cute. And I like the front. Not sure where I'm going to put these. Oh, you know what? My husband can lay on these. Him and Fancy can fight with these because they're five dollars, so I don't care. Perfect. Okay. And I also picked up another one. I picked up the red and black buffalo check because I thought it would bounce off nicely. Because this will not match my decor in the bedroom. Although I'm being honest, I'm th so close to buying a whole red and black buffalo check comforter set with shams and everything. 
Um, I'm looking online, but after reading like the reviews, like anything that's decently priced is not getting good reviews. So I don't know. But again, I think these are going to go on the sofa. Yeah. Before, yeah. Because then, like I said, I don't care, you know, if they mess them up, they can just be tossed out at the end of the season. So that was my thinking about these pillows, why I purchased them. So anyways, $10. I mean, seriously. Then another amazing purchase for $10. I'll show you right now. I'm pretty sure I showed this in the last video, but I'm showing it again because don't wait. This is 66 by 90 and it was $10. Yeah. And this is like the twin extra large and I don't care if it's twin, whatever, but I'm thinking that I don't know where I'm going to put this. This, I don't, I don't know. It might just look cute. It might just stay in its wrapping and look cute in a basket. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. So, yeah. But, I mean, these are amazing deals at Walmart. And, again, I mean, you know, spent 20 And then for the sweater, I spent like $40 at Walmart. And that sweater is super warm, which is why I'm kind of hesitant to wear it today. Because, it's, I don't know, that, that, that sweater is kind of like a sweater for Mammoth. But... We'll see what happens. All right, let's jump into Dollar Tree real quick. Um, I just got these Stouffer's Whales Baked Cheddar because they did not have their um, Cheez-Its. So I just decided to get this for a snack. Then I needed some Faux Sweet and Low for my coffee. And then I hauled some really cute stuff. So hold on. Look at Dollar Tree coming in. A dollar. Yes. Okay, so starting from the left, we have the Christmas tree in the middle with Christmas tree green, middle red reindeer, and then the white, the snowflake. And I think the white you could keep out, you know, during um, January, kind of get that cozy feeling still going. But yeah, for a dollar and the light comes with it and it flickers. It has like that kind of lantern flickering light on it. I love it. So I picked up one of each. Did not go crazy. Anyways. So I wanted to show you those, and I know where I'm going to put them, and they'll look pretty. Hopefully the lights don't give out. So yeah, not bad. All right, I'll turn on the lights so you all can see them, with how they look with the light on. Ugh. Get a close-up. Hold on, I need to turn the lights, the little tea lights off. All right, so that's how they look, just, you know, freestanding, regular. All right, then I picked up an angel. Praying. I picked up just one in each and they're standing funny because they have the little tags at the bottom. I picked up the angel praying and then the angel playing the, I want to say the horn. Let me know if that's right. Is that, is that broken? Of course it is. Oh, wow. Um, and then I picked up her reading, I guess, a chorus book or the Bible, however you want to interpret it. So, yes, and then I needed packing tape. Nothing, like, that's not super exciting. Um, I'm not sure if I got more from Dollar Tree. Honestly, I'm looking around and I'm trying to... It's hard because, you know, the halls get really big. But anyways, cute. So, yeah, total score at Dollar Tree. I mean, they're not perfect. Like, you know, this one's out of whack. It's a little tweaked. I'm sure I could fix it, but I don't want to break it. You know, I'm, I'm not going to trip. I can always turn it. Well, I guess I could turn it that way there. Then it won't bug me. But I think that's the back. But I tried to get, I mean, these sold out. Like, honestly, I'm, I'm going to be real. Good luck on finding them. You know, hopefully they'll come back out. Like, I think the ones right here with the, those are the backs. And it's funny because the back is like came out the best. But the only one that's really tweaked badly is the green one. So I guess, eh, who cares if the back's showing? It doesn't matter. All right, Dollar Tree. Cute, cute, cute. Dollar General. Yes, I had to have these for $3 a piece. Yes, please, and thank you. Loved them. Christmas treats, the gingerbread man, all that stuff. I'm, I'm hoping I can fit these somehow, some way in my hot cocoa bar. I swear you would think I'm decorating for Starbucks the way I go on about my hot cocoa bar. It's tiny. It can barely even fit the Ray Dunn mugs. As a matter of fact, I'm kind of eyeballing my Ray Dunn, my fall Ray Dunn mugs that I have not used. 
And I'm thinking that some of them have to go back, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to pick, like, my least favorite ones and just take them back. Because they won't take them back, like, after Thanksgiving. So, anyways, also, I'm telling you, right now is the time to score stuff that you... Like, people like me are taking... Well, not... Let's talk about the Ray Dunners and all the stuff that came back, like, right before Halloween. I mean, you could find, you know... All, I mean, I found the apple that everyone wanted. But by the time it comes back... You know, there's only like a week left of the season. And then you're, you're already thinking like, do I really want to pack this stuff away? No. So you leave it, you know. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just have too many. But anyways, um, and when I say too many, I don't mean like I went and I mean, you guys know me. I bought like I buy a one of each, you know, it's just I happen to buy one too many of the false fall ones. So, yeah, I was looking yesterday. And I was like, I don't know. They may or may not go back. It just depends. Any hoosers. All right, so a little bit about Dollar General. I was there when they opened up the box for this, and they literally received one box, and it had, these are the two styles, and they had four in a box, and I bought one of each, which means there was two, one and one to go on the shelf. So, yeah, I mean, you know, there. From what I from what I hear, from what I heard... You know, they're having shipping issues, which we all know that a lot of stuff is sitting at the ports. So, because I remember shooting at Dollar General, like, I don't know, weeks before now. And they had every, I mean, they were so Christmased out. It was an amazing shoot. And now it's just like the stuff is just trickling in. So, um, I think someone in the comment section said that they've been stocking their Dollar Generals for these. Just keep stocking, or better yet... What I do is I talk to the manager, you know, like I know the manager by name over at the Dollar General I go to and she's a cool, I mean, I know all, I know most of the employees and they're all really, really cool. And if you talk to them and ask, you know, they'll pretty much tell you, you know, what's up. All right. So totally ecstatic about these fines because I mean, for three stinking dollars, I mean, I'm pretty anal about my stuff, but I'm just going to get my handy dandy green marker and touch it up because it came out of the box, you know, just a little, a little, you know, stuff rubbed off. But this one is almost perfect. So, all right. And then they pulled out the pillows while I was at Dollar General. And I mean, I almost lost my mind, but you'll see what I, I ended up buying. I was good, and I just bought the Merry Christmas in the black, red and black buffalo check. And for some reason, I'm really getting into it. I think because, um, like I said, you know, this is an $8 pillow. If something happens to it while it's in the den between my husband and Fancy, I don't care. You know, it, it can just be a one-season thing. Um, you know, so for $8, yeah, I picked it up and I didn't realize how much red and black buffalo check I was bringing in, but that's okay. You know, it's here, so it'll find a place. And TJ Maxx has been my jam for finding the Ray Dunn canisters, you know? I didn't think I was going to find, I mean, after I found those two, I think I told you guys last week, like Santa's Cookies is hiding out right there. Um, oh, that, th that three-tiered tray I did get at the 99 cent store when they used to get good stuff about two years ago, and I pulled it out for Christmas. It stays out for Christmas and Valentine's Day, so yeah, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with that. Anyways, um, so when I saw, there was two of them, and, you know, my sister was like, you should have bought both of them because you could have used the other one, you know, for trade, which is true, but I'm not, you know... I have three canisters. I'm I'm pretty good. Oh, I'm sorry. I got this at Marshalls. Excuse me. 1999. How did I find this at Marshalls? Oh, okay. I went to a, okay. I know which. I went to my my go to Marshalls, and they had two of these babies out, and I grabbed you know the best one that was out there. And but TJ Maxx still has been coming through. Um. Anyway, so I'm pretty set. I have Santa's cookies, reindeer snacks, and Christmas treats. So I'm pretty good. I think and these are going to go on my bar. That's what I'm thinking. I'm going to try and fit a couple in my kitchen, but we'll see how that all that works out. All right, we're going to go into home goods because this is what was my closest to me. Look at this beautiful throw. And I fell in love with it. It is 50 by 70. It was $16.99. I'm not into the white throws because I'm guilty of spilling tea and coffee. You know, there's a hole in my mouth. What can I say? You know, 
Um, but I was like, you know what? I like it. I want it. And it, I can't wait, you know, but look at how cute this fringe is. I mean, really seriously, 50 by 70. And this is not going anywhere. Well, I can't say it won't go anywhere near fancy because fancy likes to jump on, um, mommy when she's laying in bed and try and bite mommy's cankles and feet. So she'll be on it, but you know, nothing I can do. But this is too cute. I love the old-fashioned ornaments, and I told you guys I was getting pretty dateless and desperate when it came to the throws. I could have kicked myself for that gingerbread throw at Ross that cost, what, $9.99, and then I found it on Mary Carey and Etsy and all those places, and they're like up to $29.99. They seriously went and bought every gingerbread um, throw and have just jacked up the prices. So I was like, and I've looked high and low for a gingerbread throw, and one of you told me to go look somewhere. I, I forget. I have to read the comment again. Um, you found the gingerbread, I think you said maybe at Walmart. I'm not sure. So I'm going to stock Walmart again and we'll see what happens. But in the meantime and in between time, I think I have a lot of throws, you guys. I think this is what... I didn't even show you the... Hold on. Hold on. This is the throw I forgot to show you in last week's haul because it was so such a big haul. It's the same company 50 by 70 16.99 this i got at marshall's and see the has the white tassels and you all know how much i'd be loving that red truck and look at how cute that's going to look together i mean these um these throws are for me to, like when i lay in bed and i'm you know like right now i'm using like two of my i'm using my pumpkin spice throw and my black and white buffalo check with the candy corns and right now i'm going to wash the fox one so I use my blankets like when I sleep and stuff. So I mean, I really use these throws. So these are for me. And Fancy and my husband get the ones from like Walmart for like $10. And you know, I don't, if they mess them up, I don't care. But um, these are so cute. I love them. I fell in love. And yeah, so I forgot to show you guys this one from last week's haul. And this one is from this week's haul. All right, so we're going to keep going with either Marshalls or, you know what, Marshalls is right next to me, so I'll keep going with Marshalls. Bought myself a new coat, and look, it is so, okay, because, like, I was kind of like, you know, I want a new coat for Mammoth, and we're going on another mini vacation in December. I'm not going to tell you guys where, because I'm going to vlog it. It's going to be, like, a surprise. Um, we're not going far or exotic. No, we're not doing it, but we're just, I booked a getaway. Um... Anyway, so I want to look cute in Mammoth, and I was like, I don't really have, like, a jacket that is, you know, I don't know. So, look at this hood. This is so me. I mean, you know, fur, yes, please. $69.99. It's by Chinese Laundry. It's a size medium. And it says compare at 125 and up because Chinese laundry is a name brand. Now what I like about it is it goes in at my waist and it, that accentuates like my best feature is my waist. And then it has, of course the zippers, which I like, and then it has, you know, the sleeves and it was nice and warm. And then it has a little pocket right here, which is kind of hidden, but cute. So I really like it. And when I was trying it on, this lady looked at me and she's like, that looks really cute on you. You should, <laughs> you you need to get it. And at first I tried on the large and I think like I have, I don't know. I don't know what I, I don't know. I always try a large on and it's always too big. So then I was like, well, let me go down to the medium. And honestly, honestly, I could have got, I mean, I could have bought a small, but I was thinking at the same time, I want a little wiggle room because I'm, I'm going to be layering, you know, um, cause we've been checking like the temperature and Mammoth is no joke. Like they're not here to play when it comes to the temperature. Um, when we took fancy up, it dropped at nighttime when my husband would take fancy walking. It was like in the fifties. I mean, it would, you know, it's like no joke up at Mammoth. So it's going to be cold when we go there and, I don't want to stress you guys out, but my husband and I just figured this out. We're going to be in Mammoth in two weeks. We'll have our, our tree in two weeks. This Friday, this coming Friday, two weeks from that Friday, or Thursday is Thanksgiving. And the day after our family tradition is we go get our tree on Black Friday. And I'm going to have to go pick out the tree. And then I'm going to have to go to hit all the different stores like I normally do. 
but um so yeah and also let me know what you guys think in the comment section because i really sometimes i want to go live so i can get you guys so i can get your opinions like right away i'm kind i mean i'm not really gonna go heavily into fall because i just figured out in my head that you know what i'm going on vacation when we come back um, I ordered our Thanksgiving dinner already. I ordered it from Honey Baked Ham, and it's going to be delivered. Um, and then Friday, I need to get the tree, and then I got to decorate it. And then Saturday, we're going to a Christmas event, which I'll vlog. And then Sunday, I don't know what we have Sunday. Sunday, maybe we'll be able to relax. I don't know. But then we go straight like into November, I mean, December, and it's just like Christmas, you know? So I'm thinking what I'm going to do. I mean, I, I'm not what I'm thinking. Yesterday when we were cleaning out the garage, honestly, I just brought in everything that was Christmas. And my husband was like, what are you doing? And he's like, it's not, I'm like, he doesn't understand. Um, But I was talking to my neighbor and she, she said the same thing. She's like, you know what? I'm basically skipping over fall and going straight into Christmas. And I'm like, I think that's what I'm doing too. But since I already bought the tablecloth and the runner, I decided to do the table fall. So, I don't know. Let me let me know what you guys are doing, you know, or how you guys are decorating. Because I just feel like I can't... Is it November? We're in November. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe we're in November. Um, I just feel like, I don't know, it's Christmas, you know? So, yeah. All right. So anyways, all right. So I bought this jacket for me. My husband doesn't even know I bought the jacket, but he doesn't care because this comes out of my money. But anyways, um, cute as I love the jacket, you guys, I am so excited and I will show it to you like when I do outfit of the day, because of course I'll be showing you guys, I'm, I'm going to be vlogging up there in Mammoth, but it is super cute. And I also ordered some super, well, I'll show you guys. All right, so we're going to be sticking, like, let's see where did I get, where did I get this? Oh, I want to tell you guys about this. This is a really good deal. $5.99, and this is from Home Goods. Look at, I got the little um, mitt, and for $5.99, okay, I got the cute vintage spatula, and the, um, this is silicone, but the green and red, was it Swifter? Not Swifter. What am I? Whisk. Swifter. Oh my gosh. Now, you, last time I got a lot of cute stuff and spatulas at Walmart. But again, I don't advise waiting on Walmart because I went last week. And I didn't even bother showing you guys, but they had so much cute Chris, uh, Halloween stuff out. And I mean, like stuff I would have bought. I mean, if they would have had that stuff out like in August and September, I would have bought it. And... Too bad I should have gone the day after because it was probably like pennies on the dollar that they ended up moving it for, but it is what it is. But anyways, this is a cute, you know, I mean, if you have to, if you're doing like gifts like for 10 and under, this is $5.99. Get one of those um, old school vintage mugs that I showed in our walkthrough at TJ Maxx. That's $4.99. I mean, yeah, you might be over $10 with taxes, but that would be cute as a button, you know, or... Look at, I did pick up these. These are $6.99. Now, were these my absolute favorites? No, but I'm not going to be caught without Christmas towels. Oh, no, 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 no. It's bad enough that happened to me in autumn. All right. This is Marshall's. Look at, well, we have a Marshall's Home Goods. So it's, this one's combined. That's why they're together. Um, look at $9.99. He's a cutie patootie. And I love, I had to have him once I saw that he was holding that. $9.99. So I know where this little guy is going to go. And I ended up taking back my, I bought a Ray Dunn snow globe at Home Goods, like in September or something. And I ended up taking it back for this because I bought this one. I love this one way better than the other one the gingerbread house and that is too cute and then it also matches my other snow globe that just says merry christmas and it just has the white tree and this is ray dunny and i think it's either 16.99 or 14.99 14.99 so yeah 
Oh, it just makes me so cheery to look at stuff like this, you guys. It really, really does. All right, I'm going to put you, just for right now, right there. But that's not going to be your home. You just got to hang out there for a little bit. Yeah. All right. What else did Crystal get? All right, so none of us have stocking holders. But I bought the baby one. And when I say baby, this is fancy. And um, not that I like to talk about this. But when I buy stuff, like, everything I bought for Ollie is in my closet. His clothes, everything that was Ollie's remains Ollie's. So when Fancy is no longer with us, this will go with her stuff. I don't, like, they don't, I don't share clothes, you know? Like, what was Ollie's remains Ollie's, and what's Fancy's dresses will remain Fancy's dresses. So, anyways, but, um, yeah, so I bought the baby one, and I was like, oh my gosh, a bone, and it's blinged out. The only thing that would make it better is if it had, like, a crown, or said, like, princess, because that's my baby. So, yeah, I got the baby, a uh, stocking holder, and for six ninety nine, you know, handcrafted with love, made in India, so, you know, just... I had to have it. All right. I thought these towels were really cool. For $6.99, I, yeah. Like I said, I'm not going to get caught again, dateless and desperate at the dance without towels. So, bought these babies. Love them, love them, love them. And I think these are going to look cute on the tiered tray. I really do. I Or on my massive hot cocoa bar. Ha, ha, ha. Um, adorable. I don't know. Liked them. I don't know where they're going. It's four ninety nine for those. Four ninety nine for those. Yep. And then at the ninety nine cent store, I picked up these earrings. They light up. Only ninety nine cents. I'm all about being tacky, McTacky when it comes to Christmas. All right. I'm not sure if I showed you guys my drying mats last week. If I did, I'm so sorry, but it gets really confusing. They're gingerbread. I love them cutesy two for $7.99 and someone wanted to know what a drying mat is. Um, a drying mat is where you can put your um, dishes to dry basically. Um, yeah or you can put it underneath gosh what is that called? Um, a dry your drying dish rack if you don't have like a lip for it you can put this underneath it. It's totally up to you. I'm thinking I might do that because I keep cleaning my lip. We have like really hard water and I keep cleaning my lip every single day and the hard water just builds up. I'm getting really tired of it. So I think I might use one of my autumn ones. I'm going to switch out and use that as an under lip, but I don't know. Anyways. All right. So if I showed this to you guys already, I'm sorry, but I love these and I get tons of compliments on these. Like people love them. And then when I really want to be tacky McTacky and we go out at night, I light them up, and they're adorable. They're fun. So I get these every year. All right. What else? Oh, my gosh, you guys. Hold on. And we have another really quick Bath & Body Works haul. They had the these things on sale for, like, $2.95. And be careful, because one of them leaked. One of the tops opened up and leaked everywhere. And I had I think I found which one it was. So just be careful it doesn't happen to you. I was able to get my hands on one of these. It has oil on it from that ugh, this thing. Anyways, these are this was not expensive. This was like $3.95. Of course, these are selling out like crazy because they're gingerbread and they're it's a hand sanitizer holder, but I don't use it as a hand sanitizer holder. I just put it on my key ring and it'll go on my key ring today. So I wanted to show that to you guys. And then I bought a whole bunch for um $2.95. I bought like Let's see, this one, I bought, let me see, Winter Candy Apple, um, Winter Snowy Peach Berry, what is this one, a Cinnamon Stick, a uh, Fresh Balsam, alright, yeah, this one came, the one that came off was, was Frozen Lake, and is there another one? This one came off. This one's probably like tis the season or Christmas red ice, iced cranberry scone. So anyways, yeah, spent some money there because I have a lot of plugins. I think I've told you guys that a million times. 
And I'm just putting stuff on this right here because I didn't want the oils. If something was leaking, it could leak on the plastic. I don't care. But I know someone's going to want to know where I got this. It says, meet me at the pumpkin patch. Um, this, it was a dollar at Dollar General, and it's melamine. All right. We're almost done, I think. All right, the next part, This these are really cute. I needed some new boots. Um... And I ordered these off of Amazon. And I love how they have like the red underneath them. These were like were $32.99 or $36. Now I will tell you this. See how they have a zipper? All right. This has like a tiny bit. I mean, this, actually, this doesn't even stretch. If you if you have muscular calves or you just have big calves or you have big ankles, I don't recommend these for you. Um, I tried these on, these are a size nine, these fit me perfect, and I'm telling you, if, like, I gain 10 pounds, I don't think I'd be able to wear these boots. I mean, they're, like, a perfect fit. They're a slim fit. Um, again, on Amazon, you can, you know, you can go for, like, a wider calf. They, they sell the boots all, you know, in different sizes and shapes. But I'm just telling you, this particular one is, like, it's a slim fitting boot. I mean, there is, like, no, I don't know. I mean, I guess these were made for like really slender, like model thin legs, but, um, I like them. They're definitely going to look cute and I'm not sure what I'm going to be wearing to the wedding. So I might be wearing these boots with a dress to the wedding. I'm not sure how I'm going to dress. I, I really don't know. I just, I just know I'm getting my makeup done. And then whatever dress looks the best on me on Saturday is the one that I'm going to wear. But I will do outfit of the night and I will vlog and so forth. So anyways, I'm totally happy with this purchase from Amazon. And yeah, they are so, they're, they're so, they're me, you know, they're all black. They're a little slightly runched. When I look, when I pulled them out, I thought they were going to be lower than I wanted. But no, they're right at my knee. So yeah, totally cute. A lot of you had recommended that I get pillow covers, and I think I'm going to try it. You know, I, like, really wasn't that thrilled about the idea, but I don't have room to be storing, like, pillows and pillows and pillows. So I picked out, I got four for, like, $16 on Amazon. Again, you know, Amazon came through, and I really don't want to unpack these, but you guys kind of get the idea. It's farmhouse. I think... The red truck was not why I actually picked it. I think it was because there was like, I think there's like a gnome poinsettias and like a candy cane. There's there's one that really was like, oh my gosh, I had to have it. But I'll show. But like when I when I put them on my um on my pillows, I will show them to you. So I measured my pillows, and I'm hoping this works out because honestly, I just I am running out of room. And yesterday was a real eye opener about what's going on in my garage. I mean, I don't even want to talk about what went on in the garage, but like I said, luckily two people went in, two people came out, so we 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 did okay in there. We did okay. And this is Fredericks of Hollywood Extreme Push Up Bra. It was on sale again, and I loved the first one. This works miracles. It makes me look like I have a chest. And yeah, so I'm loving it. And depending on what dress I wear on Saturday, I was like, I need to have two of these bras. I may order another one. I mean, these bras are like, I look like I have a chest. So um, unfortunately, they closed down all the Fredericks of Hollywood um, stores. So you can only order online. I've, I noticed a slight difference in the quality. Um, but overall, the Hollywood Extreme push-up bra is it's cheaper than what you're going to get at Victoria's Secret, and this really does work. It works wonders. I mean, I think you guys, I wore it, like, in my Halloween costume. I wore it, like, with another dress, and, I mean, I actually had, I had cleavage. And, yeah, so definitely, um, definitely recommend the bra. All right, what else did I get? Okay, I ordered stuff from Target, so hold on. I got this for $5.00 online five dollars wonder shop i liked that and meet me under the mistletoe so i thought that was cute and then i have another box that I haven't even opened so let me open it up right now because i totally forgot what i ordered from them all right this is truly the sad part 
I know I hauled his missus. And I, I, I packed her away, and I have no clue where I put her. So, yeah. I, I had to order Mr. Gingerbread Man. In order for me to get Mr. Gingerbread Man, I had to order $35 worth. Otherwise, they charged me some ridiculous shipping fee. And I ordered his wifey, and now I can't find wifey. Oh, my gosh, you guys. I'm just going to go nuts here before Christmas, you know? I'm just going to lose it. I'm going to spend Christmas in the loony bin. All right. So, since I had to order $35 worth of stuff, I was like, oh, okay, you know, I guess, right? What do I like? So, I got this little guy. Merry Christmas. I This is fine for the shower. Um, and I thought, you know, it was like 10 bucks or something. So, I didn't break the bank. Then, I bought this as well. And I thought, honestly, I don't think, oh, look, it came in damaged. Oh, well, I mean, does that add to, I don't know, you guys, this is like $5, a hanging sign. But see, I don't like signs that have these little, I don't know, this may be one of my fillers, but I don't like that that's damaged. I don't know. All right. So, okay, I'm trying to think, is there something, I, oh, of course there is something I'm missing. <laughs> it's, um, all right, let me make sure I'm telling you guys the right. This is, I don't know, I think this is $10, you guys. I really don't know. But this is cute. And, yeah. Um, so I had to order this, this, the mug, that. And now that I got Mr. Gingerbread Man, where I put his woman, I don't know. Oh, my God. Hopefully, I don't know. She's, I mean, I know she's here somewhere. It's not like she disappeared on me. She's, she's here. All right. Now I'm going to show you the last thing I got. And then the haul is over. And honestly, I don't know. I'm, I'm really, and I know I say this every single week, but I can't. I just, I am bursting at the seams. I mean, I don't know. I, you know what? I'm going to do a vlog and you guys are going to see what my house, what, what's going on here. But it's just... It's insane. And I'm thinking about hiring a cleaning crew. Not like that my house is dirty. But I want to do what they call a deep clean. And, um, yeah, like for three hours, it'll be like 165 or something like that. So I'm thinking about having them come in and do like my baseboards and like my vents and just like that kind of stuff. It just like to kind of help me out, you know? Because I just feel like I'm falling behind. I'm um, trying to keep up with the channel. And yeah, I mean, I'm only one person. You know, like right now I'm doing this haul. I've got the laundry going. In between doing the haul, what you guys don't see is I'm cleaning and decorating. And then I come back and do the haul, you know. So yeah, and I mean, I got to do something about that. I either got to chuck the pumpkins or I got to figure out where to put them. And I don't want to put them outside because... Later on this week, it's going to be 90 degrees, and then they're really going to go to crap, you know? Oh, and I'm looking at this, you guys, and this is bugging me. I feel like I didn't do... See, I didn't, see, I just did, like, a really crappy job, like, really quick. I got to come back. Well, if I turn it around, you can't see it. <laughs> there. Okay. If I don't see it, it's not there, right? All right, let me show you the last piece, because I really got to go. Dollar General, twelve dollars. I, I picked him, picked her up, him up. Kind of looks like a girl to me. Yeah, I'm gonna name her her. Twelve dollars. You know I would not have scored this for twelve dollars at a Hobby Lobby. I don't think I would have. As a matter of fact, I gotta go to Hobby Lobby. There's so many places I gotta go. All right, this is officially the end, and thank you. And if you're new, I promise I'm not such a chatty Kathy. Well, I am on our um hauls because honestly this is really the time where I can actually sit down and like actually talk to you guys um yeah so that's so that's what's been going on over here it's been pretty crazy yesterday like I said my husband and I were both dreading it it was really a blessing that we fell back you know fall back spring forward that we had some extra time because we both kind of moseyed out of bed and we both knew what was coming and we both didn't want to do it and we did it, but I mean, I, I'm telling you right now, I just moved five huge bags that need to go back into 
my garage. And when I say I have a garage, I have shelves. And we're not talking like, we are talking like 24 or maybe 30 inch or maybe, I don't know, like three feet deep shelves that go from the floor to the top. And they are jam packed with 4th of July, Easter, Valentine's Day, summer, spring, and most of all, Christmas. I mean, we are, we, we have Christmas for, yeah. I mean, you should have seen everything that left my house yesterday. It was like, it was a relief, but at the same time, you know, I mean, I've got like Christmas wreaths right here. I mean, I have everything that I bought and honestly, it's Christmas. So, all right, I'm going to go. Thank you so very much. If you made it to the end, oh my gosh, bless your hearts. Bless your dear hearts. Thank you so very much. I will see you all later. Thank you so, so much. Oh, and let me know what you guys think, please. I need, please, please let me know what you think. Thank you.